everybody. Happy Friday. Today is Friday, July 31st, 2009. One more month behind us. Um, and uh, our model today is called a travel wallet. And it's using a piece of newspaper. Uh, the concept being that if you were traveling somewhere, I guess you could take a local newspaper and make this little model and uh, have it as a bit of a souvenir of where you've traveled based on the fact that it's a local paper. So uh, if you do not, if you didn't see yesterday's and know to have newspaper ready, uh, go fetch yourself up a piece of paper. Um, it, it's actually just using one side of a full sheet of paper. So if you have a full sheet, you're gonna need to cut it, um, cut it in half so you just have one sheet or like I did I just grabbed because in our paper there's always single sheets as well so um, I just grabbed one of those so get your supplies together and um, you are going to have to make one more cut on this so have a pair of scissors handy and we'll get started all right so the first thing that you're going to do is to fold the corner over like so and then cut off underneath here. Uh, so you're going to be working with this top piece, and that gives you a, a square, but a square out of newsprint instead of out of origami paper. And, um, and that's what we'll be using for the model. In the, in the instructions, it says that this makes about a 14 by 14 inch uh, square that you'll be using. Well, uh, this was obviously designed before the days of the incredible shrinking newspaper. Mine comes out to be about 11 and a half by 11 and a half, and that'll have to do. So our wallet, uh, in this case, is going to be a little smaller than the one that they had intended, but that's the way the newspaper crumbles. So fold yours down, cut off the, the bottom section, and then we'll be using the top square from this point forward. All right, so now take your square piece that you have now of newsprint, and you've already folded it in one direction on the diagonal. Go ahead and fold it in the other direction. Open it back up. And then fold it in both directions uh, horizontally and vertically. So one direction. and then the other. And then open it back up. And then the first actual fold that you're going to do is to fold the two sides to the center to the center line. So like so. Now take one um, side and fold the flap, the inside part of the flap, back. And you're folding this um, about a quarter of the way. So even if you wanted to, you can fold it kind of in half, get what that halfway mark is, and then fold this over to that halfway mark so that you know you're about a quarter of the way, like that. And then fold each one of the corners to the center like that, and on the bottom side. Put it this way, it's easier. It's a lot harder to see through a bigger piece of paper like this. Now, you want to take each one of these um, triangular corners and fold them to the back side. So first one end, and then the other and then flip your piece over and fold it in half along the, the center part of that, those triangles. And then open it back up. All right, so you folded it over, you opened it back up so that you created a crease in that center section. And then the last little bit to create this um, wallet is going to be, oh, it's a cat convention today. Hello, Shadow. <laughs> Excuse me. 
excuse me, we interrupt this uh, model for uh, a little cat attention. <laughs> okay, so let's start that one more time. Now I have cat fur all over the place. Um, you've folded it over, open it back up. Now the last thing in order to create this wallet is you're going to take um, this the one flap and bring it all the way over and and tuck it underneath here on both of these sides in order to um, create the wallet effect and to secure it so it stays together. So you're using the one flap and it, uh, if you can, if, let me see if I do it this way. The one flap and it's tucking in all the way underneath the other flap. And it's really difficult, I think, for you to see with all the patterns of this newspaper. So again, this, this piece here, this flap is going to come all the way over and then tuck underneath this flap here, inside there. And the same thing on this side. This flap here is going to come all the way over and tuck underneath here. And when that happens, your paper is folding over this way, and then it's locking in, so it won't it won't open back up. So fold those under and inside, and then you're going to have your wallet. So there, if you peek in there, you can see how one flap is wrapped all the way around the other flap, and then that, in turn, creates. A wallet effect and if you fold it like this then this is your little wallet and you can put things in here and you can also open it up and put things in there it's a double it's a double wallet there's a, a piece of paper we'll pretend this is our so we can put it in there or we can open up the top part and stick it in there. Close it over and you've got a little wallet. And if it's used by with a piece of newspaper from someplace you've traveled, it's a keepsake. Or so they say. So there you have it, that's our wallet. Um, and you know, actually this particular technique, if you would use something, a piece, a square piece of anything, even fabric, um, rather than uh, the paper, you know, you could create the same effect. Uh, so uh, the folding technique is something that uh, will translate regardless of what media you're using. Obviously, if it's a piece of fabric, it's going to be a little flimsier. But um, at any, <laughs> at any rate, uh, that's our model for today. Uh, so uh, enjoy the rest of your Friday. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you back here on Monday, a whole new month.